Welcome to St. Paul Cathedral. St. Paul Cathedral is the Catholic Cathedral for the Diocese of Pittsburgh. This cathedral is actually the third of uh, the cathedrals for the diocese. The first and second cathedrals were located downtown Pittsburgh, right at the point. And I think at a point when it became apparent that uh, Oakland was a place that be, was becoming more residential for, for the Pittsburgh area, the diocese decided to sell the property and raise the second cathedral and build out here. So for a brief time, while this place was being built, uh, the cornerstone was laid in 1903, uh, Epiphany Catholic Church was the proto-cathedral for that short period until this building was completed and uh, ultimately dedicated in October of 1906. So we're a little over 100 years old, nearing our 110th year in this, in this particular structure. For the second cathedral, an organ was built for it. It was a Kimball organ by the Chicago firm. And at the time that the building was sold, they removed the Kimball, put it in storage, and located it in a facility uh, nearby here until this cathedral was completed. So the Kimball then was reinstalled here, uh, right in this gallery where we now have the Beckrut organ. The Kimball lasted until the 40s and early 50s when it simply was unplayable. And at that time, uh, Paul Koch was the music director here at St. Paul Cathedral, and he managed to sign a contract with the Rudolf von Beckrut Company. Beckrut is a German builder who, for much of his career, became a restorer of, of antique organs in Europe and all around Germany. And so he certainly knew the ins and outs of the organ building tradition. So uh, when the opportunity became available to build an organ for this cathedral, he was ready to do so, and they managed to get it in and complete the organ by December of 1962. So it's been uh, well over 50 years that it has been here, and in the time that the organ has been in St. Paul Cathedral, it's, it's been well used and became a real site for, for you know, artists and organ builders to come from around the world to learn about Beckerot's building style. It was a rather influential organ at the time that it was installed here in Pittsburgh because so few instruments like this were in existence in the United States. I mean, nowadays, I think with the ease of travel and uh, with the availability of information on the internet, it's very easy to learn about instruments such as these uh, as well as historic instruments of other traditions. But at the time, this was rather remarkable to, to have an instrument installed in a big American city. So Americans from all around came to see this and organ builders climbed through, uh, organists came to play it, and uh, many American organ builders uh, became apprentices to Rudolf von Beckroth in Hamburg, Germany. So in any case, here for the convention uh, in Pittsburgh, Nathan Laba will be performing on this organ, uh, one of the evening concerts featured performer. Uh, not, I don't know his program yet, but um, you know Nathan is a stunning player, and he's played here before and used the organ magnificently.